Ladies and gents, welcome to OTFI. And today's tip to jerk came out of the live stream, which I've been doing over on twitch.tv forward slash way I TFI. Yes, I'm live streaming in Ventimate. That's a thing. That's a thing. People come and watch it as well. Check it out. Check the past broadcasts out. You might like it. So I've been doing this graphics card over on the live stream. And one of the viewers stopped us and was like, hang on a minute. What did you just do there? I didn't know you could do that. And this bloke designs robots on a TV show, mate. If someone that designs robots in a TV show with Inventor didn't know you could do this, it's a safe bet for a video. So, Ellis, mate, I'm talking about you. This is your video. So here we go. We're going to right-click on the, on the heat pipe and open that up into a separate window. So this is a tubular structure. And what I'm going to do is apply a texture to this heat pipe that includes a bitmap image. So let's hit the drop-down list at the top, and I'll select Stainless Steel Polished Brushed. Right, because I know that's got a texture inside it. So Stainless Steel Polished Brushed. Where are you gone? There you are. So the texture that it applies against the model you can see it's completely out of whack. The brush strokes are far too big, and as it hits the bends, the brush strokes are going in the wrong direction. The scaling and the orientation is all out of whack. How do you fix that, right? Well, what you would normally do is go to the little globe button here, right, that little color wheel button. You'd right click on stainless steel polished, hit edit, click the swatch, and then you can change the, the rotation, you can change the scale, you can change the tiles, you can change all kinds of stuff within here but that applies to the entire texture across the entire model. So if you rotate the entire texture by 90 degrees, yes, you'll fix the bend, but then these ones will rotate 90 degrees, so they're always going to be out of whack with each other. So you need to be able to manipulate the textures on an individual face-by-face -face level. How do you do that? Right, well, you select this button here. This little button here is called Adjust. When you select Adjust, you get an RGB wheel at the top, which we can ignore for now. That just changes the tint. You can apply a tint color to the texture if you want, but we're not going to be doing that. We're just going to select a face, and then you get given this selection of symbols in the middle here, right? So you get this little up, and up to the right, up, up arrow and to the right arrow, and then you get a little triangle and a circle. The triangle and the circle is what we're interested in. If you hit the triangle just once with the left mouse button, it'll automatically resize the texture to suit the object it's applied against. It just works. It just works. It's brilliant. If you hold the left mouse button down on the triangle and then drag, it's actually scaling the texture. So you can do a manual scale if you want to, or you just click it once and it automatically applies that scaling factor to that face. And you might be thinking, oh, do I have to do that to every single face? No, you can put a window around all the faces, then hit the triangle and then boom, it just automatically scales everything. And it's just like, that's, that's nice. I like that. I do like that. You don't have to worry about going into the global editor and then, you know, doing a trial and error scale. It'll just apply it against everything. Okay, but what about the rotation factor, right? Well, first, before you do anything else, hit the little apply button here because if you don't click that and you just press escape, it'll just cancel what you've done. So you click apply and to fix the rotation factor on the, on the bend, for example, if you want the bend to match the straights, you can click the face of the bend and then hold the left mouse button down on this little circle symbol here. And that'll let you then just drag the texture, snap to 90 degrees, and it'll now match the brush strokes for the rest of the faces. So it's basically just manipulating the rotation of the texture. Snap it at 90 degrees, and then there you go. You've fixed it. Hit apply, go to the next one, click the little circular rotational button thingy, and then you just rotate it around, and it'll match the rest of the textures. And that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. That's now fixed the texture orientation and fixed the texture scaling. One thing just to be cautious, not really cautious, but just aware of, is when you do any adjustments to textures, it applies a face appearance override to the model. And what the hell does that mean, right? If I undo everything I've just done, go back to when the model had no texture, select any face, any face you want, right click on it, and then go to properties, you'll see that the appearance applied to the to that face says as feature. So this face is getting its appearance from the feature. So it'll go to the feature, and then when you right click on the feature, and then go to properties, and I think we're gonna have to go to this one here, properties, it'll say I get my appearance from the body. So you go to the body, and then you go, right, what's your appearance? And then it'll go, I get my appearance from the part. And the part is that there. So it's this hierarchical structure of appearances which eventually wean themselves up to the top. So that's why when you select this drop down here and you say, I want to make it dirt dark brown, it turns dirt dark brown. Everything is sort of hierarchically linked together up to the top, which is great. Right, undo. However, when you apply a texture to a face, it completely bypasses that. I'll show you, right? So let's just start this again. Let's go to stainless polish brushed and then we're going to select adjust. 
and then we're going to select that face there and then automatically scale that face click apply and then click close that face there now has an override applied the only way inventor can give that face a different scale factor to the rest of the faces is to disconnect that face from getting its appearance from the top of the part and have a manual override so now when you select that face and go to properties you can see it's now got a face override what inventor's done is it's created a copy of stainless polished brushed it's created a copy of the texture we first had and then just put brackets one at the end of it give it a, a unique scale factor and applied it against that face and the same happens when you do a rotate so we'll select this face here we'll go rotate orientate that by 90 degrees click apply go to the properties of this face and this one should now be stainless polish brush 2 because we haven't changed anything to do with these faces these ones are still as feature now that's that's fine that's absolutely fine the only downside of that is when you select a new texture from the top drop down is maybe you decide a oh, brush it's not for me i don't like brushed i don't want to i've lost my brush i can't brush it so i'm going to select stripes black well everything goes black that's set to by feature and then by feature to body then by body to part everything goes black other than the ones with the facial override so you have to be just consciously aware that when you do apply an override you're disconnecting those faces from the top drop down list but don't worry fear not fear not sir we can over we can we can cancel it all we can completely clear it all if you decide i've made a royal cock up of this and i need to put it back to scratch you select the next button to the right which is called clear select all the faces that you want and then just hit apply or if you want to be safe you can just select all and then hit okay and it just clears everything back to default all your faces are now set back to as feature as feature will be to as body and as body will be back to as part and now we can select a an appearance from here and it'll it'll sort itself out so that's adjust and that is clear with face overrides rotational manipulation and scale factor manipulation it's pretty good it's pretty good so now when i'm shut that down and I head back to the assembly that appearance is completely wrong <laughs> but i'm going to set it back to stainless steel brushed when i go back to the live stream to continue this project reet there you go there's the tip to jure <laughs> TFI, you're welcome. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.